Okay, so you're adding your pupils to new teams or you're finding out what a pupil's email address is. To do so, you're going to need to find them in order to add them properly and in order to get in touch with the right person. Okay, so now to do this, you need to be on the Glow Launchpad. So when you log into Glow, this is the screen that you see, and you click the Management Console. This brings you straight to a full list of every single pupil in our school. I've had to blank out the names for data security, but they are listed beneath this blurred box. To find individual pupils, all you need to do is simply type their name in the search bar at the top. You can search by first name or last name. And this will show you a list of the students. Okay. Now in this column here, we can see this pupil's username. And what I would do is highlight this and copy it and then go into Teams and paste it to make sure I'm adding the correct pupil to my team. Okay. You can also see their email address here. And incidentally, this is where we can change their password. Okay. So this is how to search for one individual pupil. The other thing that you can do to make life easier is search for groups. So if we click groups here, and if we drop down to my teaching groups, this shows me the list of classes that I currently teach. So if I wanted to see the details and the members of 1.2, I would click view members. And this would show me the class list. Obviously, the names are blanked out for you, but this would show me the class list with all of their usernames here. So I could then copy them individually into my team. Now, another handy thing you can do from this page, if I go back one page and we go into groups again and we view my teaching groups, another handy thing you can do is click on actions and create a group in Office 365. Okay, so I'm going to do this for 1.5. Now, when I'm creating this group, I need to copy this name here. And I will then paste that into Glow. And this will add every single pupil for 1.5 in one go for me. So that's a really quick way to add pupils to a class if you're setting up a whole class for the first time. The other handy thing about this is as pupils come and go from the school, they will be removed and added to your team as necessary. And all I'm going to do once I've clicked on this button, I'll click OK and that will create the Office 365 group. Now it does say here it can take up to 30 minutes for the group to be created. So you might need to wait before pasting the name of the group into Teams. But if you need to find the name of the group again, all you need to do is click Actions, View Details, and then the Office 365 name is right there for you. So you just copy and paste that into Teams and it'll add the whole class in a one in in a one hour.